welcome back to part 24, I think, of creating um, a Rolex Sky Dweller instead of Maya 2018. So, in this episode, we're going to use a bend deformer to create the whole bendish look of a watch. So, select all of these guys right here. Actually, don't want to select those curves. I'm going to do show. Um, nerves, curves, and surfaces. That way I don't accidentally select any of those. So I'm going to drag, select those, make sure those are all pieces. Yep. And then we want to combine them for now. So I'm going to hit um, combine right there. And then we're going to want to go to deform uh, nonlinear bend. And then let's just put uh, 90 into there for now. And then we need to change some of this. So let's change this. Hold down J to rotate at 90 degrees, and, or 15 degrees I mean, and then let's rotate that to negative zero right there, and that's a bit much maybe, let's just see how this looks, um, I'll shift D, and then I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees, and push this down, and we've got to push it in, so like, push this in. And a bit up to push it in to match the pieces. So about there, I think. Actually, a bit more in. Okay. So that, I think, is that piece. Um, let me just look at a real one. Alright, so um, what we're going to do now is duplicate this thing over to that side so let's select um, this actually let's do this part first so I'm going to select these guys and then that's not not that part um, control D to duplicate this and then just go like that and put the scale Z to negative one or did not work negative one why are they like this why is my like this um, let's just delete those I think I need to change the pivot of these to be exactly in the middle Thought they were though. Oh, it must be because this thing is just all weird. So, um, just select those and then duplicate those, and scale them over to the other side. Um, let's see if we can get this exact to about about there. Let's see how this looks. It's that one. So I feel like we could see how if I center the pivot of this. I'll rotate that and push that in. Yeah, okay. Select both of these. And center those pivots. And I'm gonna rotate this a little bit and then I'll rotate the other one. Um something like that. Maybe not actually. I think I'll just keep it how it is right now. Um, I want to when I change things like this, I want to change them on both. Something like this, I guess, and then maybe I will rotate it a little bit because it is a little weird. Um, so I'm gonna rotate this one too. Something like that, and then select both of those, bring them out. Okay, so it looks good, and then select this piece right here. I'm going to press D and put that to the middle of Maya and then duplicate that and then scale that all the way over to here and hopefully this piece acts normally about there and then select this piece let's change the pivot to middle and press control D to duplicate it and watch our poly count just go all the way up um, and change it to fit so it should be like right about there I think is exact um, could probably put it in one more um, so there's that although this does look a little bit odd um, it's kind of just let's see a real one um, uh, let's see. Could push them in a little more if you want. Um, it's kind of hard to let's see. Just is this looking at the wristband, because that's what I want to look at. Where is it? 
See about there. That would be like a real one. Um, we did put it in a bit much, but I mean, you can always like, you know, rotate it or something. But I think I will probably keep it like that. Yeah, because that'll ha that's how they would have it in like a display case. See if I type in watch in display case. Uh, it's not really what I meant to look at, but they're all like that. So yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Now we're gonna work on the watch, or I mean the 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 lock part down here, and that will be it for creating the watch. And then we'll have to work on um, texturing this, which will make it look tremendously better, trust me. So, let's see if I'm still recording. I am. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. In the next episode, we'll really start creating the, the, the lock. So, like, if we try and find, um, whoa. I want to see the lock. Please tell me we have some close pictures. So, um, we might create that same lock, or we might create a version of it. I think we might create the version I used when I created the Rolex Daytona following someone's video. Because um, that was a pretty good lock, because I don't think we need to really make that one. So probably make the one I used before because they'll look about the same but it'll be a lot easier to model you could uh, if all the stuff you've learned you could probably attempt to model your own version but um we'll see if we can create it to look close enough okay so how will we get started on this um figure it out in the next episode so thank you for watching please subscribe